No joke guys, these inking techniques are everything! Hello my dears and welcome to my channel. My name is Lisbeth, I'm a published author here in America and today I'm going to be showing you, my YouTube babies, six shading techniques that you can use with microns, dipping pens and pretty much any kind of pen. It's gonna be awesome! Not only will these shading techniques make your work look super professional, they're also super beautiful and easy as f Would I ever lie to you? I didn't think so. Hashtag Mama Mushroom Never Lies. <laughs> these are techniques that every aspiring artist should all know these techniques guys. So to get the most out of this tutorial, you can use any of these with computer paper or sketch paper or if you watch my video on how to use quill pens and dipping pens and want to use some of these bad boys, be sure to have some comic paper, manga paper, bristol, vellum, some kind of thick paper, even watercolor paper will suffice. But definitely follow along to get the most out of this tutorial guys and be sure to watch this video till the very, very end because I promise you there is so much information in this video that you will want to know. So be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this, guys. And without further ado, let's get started. First up, we've got stippling. I freaking love this technique, guys. Stippling is when you use dots to create the illusion of shadows. I'll be showing you how to do this technique by using a dipping pen with one of these big boy nibs from the Speedball drawing set but you can use a micron or a pencil to practice with me. Now dip the quill into the ink and carefully shake off the excess and lightly dab some dots on your paper. Where you want the shadows to be the darkest, use larger dots. Where you want the lighter shadows, use smaller dots. This lovely quill is also from the same speedball kit. Links in description box below. If you don't like the look of using different size dots, use this technique. Space the dots further apart to create a gradient effect. You see? It's a little time consuming, but girl, oh my god, look at that beauty though. Hashtag sexy shadows. Hashtag shadow goals. I'm shook. Next up, parallel lines. Girl, I love this technique too. Now before I show you the technique, let me explain what a parallel line is for those of you who for some reason didn't go to a math class. <laughs> Parallel lines are two lines that are completely parallel to each other and no matter how long they are, they are completely straight and will never touch. Think of railroad tracks, you know, they're completely straight side by side. So that's what we're going to be doing for this shading technique. Like the stippling, you can create the illusion of shadows by changing the thickness of the lines and the distance between the lines. Thicker lines and close laying lines create dark shadows while thin lines and lines laying further apart create lighter shadows. And if you're really extra, you could even use a ruler sometimes. That's like when you really want that crispy look. I've done it. It looks kind of nice sometimes. Now here's the thing, okay? <laughs> Some people will tell you to always keep your parallel lines straight and to never curve them even if the thing you're shading is round like a sphere. And to them I say, go fuck yourself, this is my life, don't try to limit me, bitch. No, but honestly, <laughs> sometimes really, really unnaturally straight lines look super hot and other times you want to curve your parallel lines and that's okay too. Next up, hatching aka my inking shading bay. If you guys read my series Sacred and are familiar with my inking work, you might recognize this technique from all the different pages in my series. Now to create this inking shading technique, you simply take your pen and create lines of varying lengths side by side to create a less rigid and textured shadow compared to the parallel line technique. This technique is great for clothing, stone wood, adding drama to a scene in your manga or comic. Girl, the possibilities are endless! And like both stippling and the parallel lines, thicker lines and close set lines will create darker shadows, while thinner lines and farther set lines create lighter shadows. Next up, we've got cross hatching, yes, aka massage chick. I freaking love these techniques. Did I mention how much I love all of these techniques I'm sharing with y'all people? 
hashtag love my babies hashtag my babies deserve the best <laughs> okay back to the tutorial <laughs> for cross hatching you simply lay down some lines either using the parallel line or the hatching technique and to create a darker shadow simply draw more lines on top of those lines for best results you can rotate your paper slightly to draw each layer of lines but be sure each layer faces a different direction and to create a gradient effect where it goes from darkest to lightest be sure that with every layer you add you draw shorter lines this technique creates amazing textures and makes your pages very interesting and really sets a weird mood you're gonna have so much fun playing with these <laughs> next up we've got scribbles girl i learned this one back in high school serendipity i don't know if it's a real technique but i use it passing it on to you my babies girl this technique is a weird one but a very useful technique to learn because of how versatile it is you can use it to create trees bushes even curly hair if you really wanted to and you can even create lacy clothing and the look of decorative embroidery on the characters okay girl <laughs> there are so many ways to create scribbles for this effect the scribbles can be loose consistent and never overlap or for a coarser appearance you can create tighter inconsistent scribbles that overlap play around with it and have some fun and like all of the other shading techniques in today's video to create a gradient effect the closer the coils are the darker the shadows and the less the lines overlap the lighter the shadows and last but certainly not least ink washes boo boo simply take some water some india ink a brush and go to town boo boo dilute a little ink with some water and try it out on some scrap paper before applying it to your art and create a painterly and timeless look to your illustrations manga or comics and when it dries you can even add another layer where you'd like it to be darker you can pretty much layer it like it's watercolor if you're curious about the pen that i used in this video be sure to check out this video link it down there in the description box below i'll teach you how to use them how to choose the best dimmy pen and quill pen for your unique style how to choose the best paper girl everything you need is in that video guys i am so hyped about sharing this video with you guys these techniques really made a difference in my artwork and i use them to this day they are professional techniques that you should all know and have in your arsenal the more you learn the more you can create please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe and click the notification bell for more videos like this and until next time guys please take care god bless and do not be afraid to nerd out <laughs>